A torque wrench is used to tighten down nuts and bolts to a specific torque and therefore create the correct tensile stress. The torque wrench is also used to apply the same amount of torque on multiple nuts and bolts, as in addition, it prevents the threads of bolts and nuts from being damaged or even the heads to snap off. A click torque wrench is the most used type and allows the user to set a specific torque value. Moog recommends using a manual torque wrench and the torque values as set by the car manufacturer for the correct installment. The torque values tell how tight a nut or bolt must be fastened to ensure an accurate and firm suspension construction. Each torque value has been determined by the manufacturer that developed the suspension based on a bolt's dimension and its function. When replacing a suspension part, make sure to obey the torque values as set by the manufacturer. This is something we cannot achieve with an air impact wrench. The torque wrench uses a ball detent and spring in the head of the wrench that makes a click as soon as the preset torque is reached. The use of an air impact wrench will not provide this feedback and the applied torque is indefinite. Do not continue tightening once you reach the click as you will over tighten in that case. Be aware that the spring inside the torque wrench is a calibrated piece of equipment. It is best to have the spring untensioned when storing the tool. It will make the wrench stay in calibration much longer. A torque wrench allows for more accuracy when installing Moog parts and gives the mechanic a controlled torque in contrast to an air impact wrench. Nuts and bolts can also be subject to wear and rust, so should always be replaced. And tightening of the bushes should always be done when the vehicle is at a normal ride height. Also, when remounting the wheels, we recommend to use a torque wrench instead of an air impact wrench.